Hi, Tube. How's it going? Chris Veers here. Um, starting what hopefully will be a nice series of battery rebuilding videos. As you can see, this pack here is uh, off an EG e bike. It's 36 volts. It charges up to 42. It's uh, basically a 3610. It's it's charged with a like a three pin like mic plug and that's nice little battery it has an on off switch and a lock for the case on the bike so what I'm going to do is says it is old and decreased in its range is I'm going to rebuild it using a Samsung 29E so it's a 2.9 milliamp hour cell. I'm going to use a, use a four parallel and 10 series pack. So it'll be 40 cells total when it's done. Anyway, before we with all the details, you gotta take it apart here. And uh, that's the first step. back end of the battery as you can see inside there there's a little weather seal I'm going to take that off so it doesn't get damaged while I'm messing with it and there's the original pack inside there kind of glued in around the edges and take off both sides wouldn't hurt you know I'm working on another job right now so I don't have my drill otherwise I would uh, knock these off a little faster but uh, this is about the fifth one of these I've rebuilt for Sam over at the electric bicycle center in Fullerton uh, he seems to have a lot of these for some reason. So I'm bringing them back to life. pack were new it wouldn't charge to 41.1 it would charge to 42 but since it's old and it's showing a full charge of 41 that means that it has outlived its serviceable life and you know most people when they get an e-bike they'll ride around for you know, it's good for six to eight hundred cycles, so they'll ride around for a year or two, and then they'll find that the range will decrease over time until, you know, the bike only goes four or five miles on a charge, and then uh, at that point it's time for a new battery.
it is. All right, inside there you see the battery management board. There's a little fuse and the charge plug. Again, I'm going to take off the little seal so it doesn't get messed up. But, so my first job is to get that pack out of there. And I like to disconnect the BMS so nothing gets fried along the way. There we go. So I plan to reuse that BMS when I'm rebuilding the new battery. Need something to cut the glue. Carefully without cutting the wires, obviously. Otherwise, you might experience a small electrical discharge, which can uh, obviously damage your battery box and your fingers and stuff. Not to mention these things blow up like big time, so you don't want to Alright, anyway. battery assembly is not going to come in such a pretty box but I got a 3d printer so I'm going to be making pretty boxes very shortly here okay so I'm going to need to cut some wires to pull them out of here but save that for later first thing I'm going to do is start to assemble the new pack that'll be for video number two. Thanks for watching.